Reacher Season 2 continues to dominate the ratings and smash records for Amazon and basically all of streaming at this point. The show is super have, popular, right? Thank you. It seems to be doing okay. When did you, like, when did you sense that? Like, oh. So you'd think a show being this well received and being such a global mega hit would be promoted and supported by the industry and while some parts of the industry are supporting this show, it's getting a lot of hate too and you have to wonder why. Why? As articles have tried to attack the audience of Reacher, of being toxic or just angry men, and claim that Reacher promotes that, despite the show having great female characters too, and having a diverse cast. So this argument is obviously ridiculous, yet is still getting used, and is getting used against the show, and against the audience for it. Then there are obvious industry award show snubs, like how Reacher, despite being such a global hit, didn't get a single People's Choice Awards nomination, despite all the stats proving that people are choosing to watch Reacher over many other shows, and this is no knock on the nominations for the People's Choice Awards, but if that's the list, Reacher definitely deserves to be on it. Well, you got me. By all accounts, it doesn't make sense. So like I said, the question is why? Why isn't Reacher getting the support that it clearly deserves? And in my opinion, it's because Reacher completely destroys the modern Hollywood strategy. And this modern Hollywood strategy is about promoting a show or film entirely off ideology and not about what actually makes the story good. There has become a thing that's gone on, it seems like in this, especially this last year, where, um, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking, uh, 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 ideology is more important than art. Way more, certainly to the awards. Yeah, and it's just, you know, it, it, it's like, you know, ideology right. trumps art. That, ideology right. trumps individual Terrible. effort. Ideology trumps good. Ideology trumps yeah, entertaining. There's two kinds of movies, virtue signalers yeah, uh -huh. and superhero movies. Mm -hmm, yeah. Everything these days seems to be promoted as boundary smashing or groundbreaking, and it seems that every single TV show or movie is trying to be the next Get Out or Little Women or Crazy Rich Asians, but what made those films so good was that there was a good story behind it. And yes, they came from an ideological perspective, but that's totally fine when when it's told through a good narrative and expressed in a good way. Whereas nowadays it seems like so many projects throw the good narrative to the side, don't even care about crafting a well-written story, and rather just promote it entirely off ideology. Because actually crafting a good movie like a Get Out, like a Little Women, or like a Crazy Rich Asians is difficult and it takes time. And especially for these studios, it's a lot easier to just churn out a gazillion projects that aren't of a high quality and build up your streaming platform then actually take the time to create a good story. And so what they seem to do nowadays is churn out heaps of projects, not worry about the story being great because they can just rely on the ideology and trying to appeal to a certain demographic or a certain target audience. All of the Marvel fans and people excited for Echo, I think the thing I'm most excited for you guys to see is Chalk Talk community, a Chalk Talk culture and all of the ASL in, in the production of Echo, in this production that's really, really badass. And the target audience nowadays is never the fan of that type of storytelling. It's always the specific demographic that they're trying to preach to and it's entirely down to pandering and no longer about the actual story they're telling. Whereas when you look at Reacher, Reacher has the diverse cast, has the strong women, but doesn't use that to market the show. The only way Reacher has ever been marketed is through the quality of the story and trying to appeal to a market that likes that type of storytelling. And this should be the future of cinema and the future of TV that we should be striving for and building towards, but if you succeed in actually building that future, then big studios won't be able to churn out a gazillion 
passion projects because they will actually need to take the time and focus on making a good story. And now, it's important to distinguish that I'm not blaming this on the studios, I'm actually blaming this on the Hollywood media, because really, when you boil it down to the root cause of the issue, it lies completely on Hollywood media. Because hell, Reacher was made by a big studio, and the big studio chose not to market it through ideology, so clearly studios aren't the root cause of this modern Hollywood strategy, because these big studios will just follow the money, and if that means less projects and better stories, then that's what they'll do, and they've proven that before in the past. However, with the media, they rely entirely on clicks, and there's no better way to breed clicks than through controversy, and there's no better way to cause controversy than to have people fight over personal ideology. And uh, you're not going to persuade me, and my response to you destroying all these things is to have a Big Mac. Because you know what? It's a free country, it's a democracy, and I'm allowed to eat meat, and I'm certainly allowed to eat meat when someone who kills bees to feed their avocado habit minds. What we're asking is for the government. It's so dumb. Oh, it's so dumb, it's brilliant. No! It's just dumb! So that's why it seems that Hollywood media would rather have movies more focused on ideologies than art, because they can use that to cause more controversy, rather than actually bring people together, which is what art is meant to do. So when a movie or a show comes out, they choose to only talk about the ideology of the show to get people attacking it or get people supporting it, causing more clicks on their articles, causing more money for their company, and at the same time, completely destroying what I love most about the cinematic industry. Because on a personal note, the reason I love this art form is because you can learn different perspectives, you can share different perspectives, and when those different perspectives are told through a good story, a good narrative, everyone can understand it, and while you may not agree, you can at least take it on board and think about it for some time, and great movies always cause a lot of conversation, however what they don't cause is a societal divide as they're more about bringing people together through shared story. And that's what I love about Hollywood, that's what I love about movies, TV shows, but unfortunately Hollywood media right now seems to be more focused on dividing people than actually bringing people together over this great art form. And it's so sad to see that a show like Reacher, which does exactly that, brings people together through a good story, doesn't get the support that it deserves, despite millions across the world screaming for Reacher to be supported, despite everyone clearly proving that this is the type of show people want to watch, yet media doesn't want to support it, and some media would rather attack the show back. And it is important to say that this isn't all of media, but the fact that this happens at all is so sad, because clearly Reacher is the type of show people want to watch. But what are your thoughts on this? Let me know down below in the comments. If you like the video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you all on my next video.